Welcome back. Last time we have discussed how to load the data into our Jupyter workbook and we have loaded some data from uh, FRED, from Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis and uh, we have done short inspection of this data. Today is a very important topic and we are going to discuss which types of LSTM are existing. Namely, we are talking about two main modes of LSTM. There are two modes. One is the stateful mode and one is the stateless mode. Why it is so important at this point of time? This is why we have to decide already now at the beginning which one we are going to use. And to decide this, we will briefly show what is the difference uh, between stateless and stateful LSTM. Uh, as you probably know, LSTM is meaning long short term memory. So the, this neuronal network manages short term memory. And this is the main difference between stateless and stateful LSTMs. In a stateless mode, LSTM updates parameter on batch 1, let's say batch 1. And then when batch 2 comes, it will initiate hidden states and cell states with zeros in the next batch, in the batch 2. What does it mean? Cell state is the cell memory. Cell is another word for actually uh, roughly for, L, uh, for LSTM layer. We, we will see later how we build this with Keras. But this is just uh, inner memory, cell memory. And hidden state is the state of the neurons. So we have uh, hidden hidden layers in uh, LSTM network, same way as we have in all other neuronal networks. So uh, even if we have CNN, uh, con convolutional neuronal networks, or another uh, networks, we have always input layer, then we have hidden layer, and then we have output layer. And the state of neurons in the hidden layers called hidden state. So now we know that in a stateless uh, LSTM, everything starts from beginning from batch to batch. So one batch was passed, then everything is going to be resetted and uh, initialized with zeros and then it starts again and again. In a stateful neuronal network, is, is it completely different? Here, the last output of the hidden state on, uh, of the cell states, cell state again, this is the cell memory, from batch, uh, batch 1, is the input for the batch 2. So it, it memorizes what it has learned in the batch 1. It takes it over to the batch 2. So now what should we use? Which kind, which mode of LSTM should we use? This is pretty easy to answer in, in this case. Um, the question is only, are the time series independent in different batches? So if, let's say we have our data, this is around 8,000 uh, 8, rows, 8,000 observations, and uh, we, we split it into batches. So we have batch one, 
let's say we have in batch 1 100 observations, in batch, batch 2 we have again 100 observations, and so on and so on. This is one huge time series, and of course, there, there is dependency inside of this data, so between different time steps. In, there is also dependency between batch 1, batch 2, batch 3, and so on and so on. This is one, uh, one time series. And because of that, of course, we, uh, we should use stateful mode. Uh, another example is, for example, if we deal with sentences. So if one sentence uh, we have in one batch, another sentence we have in another batch. So there are two complete different sentences and they are completely uh, unrelated to each other. So we don't need this stateful mode. Instead of that we need stateless mode. But here we deal with uh, uh, commodities or the same with stock prices and we are going to select stateful LSTM. So stay tuned until the next time. Enjoy our sessions. Bye-bye.